friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the best tips and tricks that can help you fix predictive keyboard not working issue on iPhone and iPad. So just in case the stock quick type keyboard is not working on your iOS or iPad OS device or it seems to be rather sluggish or it doesn't offer up quick suggestions, then these tips can prove to be pretty helpful. That said, let's cut the chase. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. The very first tip that I would recommend you to try out is to force restart a hard reset your iPhone or iPad. For those unfamiliar, force restart is well known for fixing common issues like freezing, crashing of apps or even touch screen unresponsiveness. That's why it's better to give it a try first off. To force restart your iPhone 8 or later or iPad with Face ID, all you have to do is press and quickly release volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button, then you have to hold down the power button until the screen goes black and Apple logo shows up on the screen. To force restart your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, all you have to do is press and hold the volume down button and side button at once until you see Apple logo on the screen. To force restart your iPhone 6s or iPad with Touch ID, all you have to do is hold down the home button and the power button at once until Apple logo shows up on the screen. Once your device has restarted, check out if the keyboard has started to work normally. If it has, then you are good to go. If the force restart has not fixed the keyboard issue on your iPhone or iPad, then it's time to reset keyboard dictionary. Bear in mind that this will delete all custom words you have typed on the keyboard, returning the keyboard dictionary to factory defaults. As this trick has often worked for me in fixing the ill-functioning keyboard, I would recommend you to give it a try as well. Hopefully, it clicks for you as well. To get it done, launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad then tap on general. Now you have to scroll down and tap on reset. Now you have to tap on reset keyboard dictionary and then confirm that you want to reset the dictionary on your device. If none of the solutions have worked in fixing the keyboard issue on your device then it's time to go for a software update. More often than not, Apple releases software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why it's always better to keep the device updated to the latest software version. Chances are pretty high that this issue could be related to an annoying bug and in this case, the best way to fix it is to go for a software update. To do it, launch settings app on your device and then tap on general. Now tap on software update. Now download and install the latest version of iOS or iPadOS on your device. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you have been able to fix the keyboard issue on your iPhone or iPad. If you have found this guide helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.